We finally flew Zip Bear to Japan, so here's everything you need to know about the trip so you can be prepared. Review and full verdict will be at the end. And just a declaim, disclaimer that husband and I differ on our opinions, but I will give you both. And let me break down the cost for you first. Here's the flight plus the seats, then the food plus luggage, and this is the final amount that we paid per person. We flew out of San Jose and everybody has to wait in line to get their boarding passes and get their bags weighed. We paid extra, so we had 30 pounds for two of them, but we still had to get rid of some omiyage, which sucked. And they actually didn't even weigh our carry-ons. Seems like we stressed for nothing, but maybe that's why it moved faster because it was about 20 minutes. Not bad for the long line and make sure your carry-on bags all get that green tag. Once you make it through security as normal, head to your gate, find where it is, and a staff member may be coming around to stamp your boarding passes by checking your passports so then you can put your passports away. They didn't do this in Narita, so it doesn't seem consistent, but if they stamp around, then just get that stamped and put that passport away. Keep your boarding pass handy even after you board because they will come check that before you give you your food. Ready to check out these seats? Well, there's overhead cabins just like everything else. And since it was holiday time, it has the cute holiday decorations. Three to a seat over here. I really like this shelf. Let me come back to it, but the buttons are there if you need to call someone or the light. And there's also a charger down here, which is really nice for a long distance flight. But back to the shelf, I really like that it has this little water holder and you can put your phone up here, you can charge up there, and then here is your tray table, you lay it down, it folds in half, and so if you just want your drink on there, you can do that, but it also opens up. Uh, you kind of have to push it hard to nudge it back in, so hopefully the person in front of me was okay with that. You can have your call button, all that right there, so you don't have to reach up above. And of course, bar for trash bag. Now onto food, we do get an oshibori with our meal and we picked a few days before and there are only five options coming from San Jose to Narita. Most of us chose the salmon shiokoji, which is one of my favorite dishes to make at home as well. This is what it looks like. It looks a little sad. It's pretty small. It comes with some veggies. Let's see how it tastes. Well, I didn't expect anything amazing. I was hoping it didn't suck. So here's a salmon. I do love salmon and okay, it's pretty decent, not bad not great i make it better i must say so if you want to check out that recipe i have salmon shiokoji that my kid made and here's the kimpira gobo and that was actually not bad either a little on the sweeter side and the texture is a little different but let's see how the sweet and sour pork is it's just kind of very plain rice isn't the best either but it's airplane food so i wasn't expecting the best decent not bad not great if you need more or something else because you can't order two online feel free to order on the plane. Unfortunately, while we were eating, we didn't realize that the dude in front of my husband had a big old water jug that was leaking all over behind him. Even when the dude saw people scrambling and getting paper towels for my husband who had a sopping wet bag, the dude never apologized. You could probably tell there were windows of different lightings because there are no window shades. So let's see how this works. If you push down, it's a little delayed, but it gets brighter and it gets darker. We were able to sleep but I can see if you're sensitive to light, this might be an issue. Now let's talk Narita because this was not a pleasant experience. There was a huge long line and it took almost an hour to get through it. We got there early thinking we could shop outside because there are a lot of good shops outside and eats, but we did not have time. They had these passport kiosks, which did not work well. It did not read our passports. Its sole purpose is to read passports. It better work. And when they say, oh, most old US passports work, they don't. So that really bugged me and that ripped into my Narita shopping time. So for those friends that didn't get gifts, I'm sorry, you can blame Zip Air. Anyway, our line was only for San Jose and yet it was super, super long. They did weigh it in this case. They weighed it all together and we were good to go. We got everything tagged again. Even at the gate, they were not announcing well about who was up for boarding and then it finally just was a free for all. We got on. Thankfully, no issues with space up top, so we got all our stuff up there, paid for our seats ahead of time, so we were all seated together, but it was really hot in there. Take it from me, just make sure you wear layers. Now let's take a look at the offerings because there was a ton more stuff coming from Japan than going to Japan. There was a lot more stock of individual items, it felt like, as well as variety. Highly recommend the Plymouth Soda. Even on this leg, though, 
meals were not offered very much other than noodles and snacky type of things. So if you are going to get a meal, you have to order it in advance. Do not rely on getting it once you're on board. We never had an issue with our meal choices running out, but remember to choose them ahead of time so that you get what you want for on the flight. There are also other amenity things, and if you don't want the amenity package, but you want slippers or the pillow, you can buy those individually. Just know that it could run out. Any of these things could run out. Food time again. I decided to try the Zip Original Curry Rice because if they're putting their name on it, might as well give it a try. And who can go wrong with the curry rice? Again, the size is pretty small, but they all come with water. So that water was enough for my kids. I'm glad I packed some water for myself for the trip, but otherwise it was actually pretty good. And my husband got the katsudon and the kids got a kid's plate and a katsudon. On the way to the bathroom, I did peek at the life flat area, but guess what? They had bidets in the bathroom. Is it because it was by the life flats? Overall, husband is a hard no, never taking it again for a few different reasons. One, the stress level of figuring out the weight of things and not being able to buy your way out of it on the day of checking in was almost a deal breaker for him. Not almost, it was a deal break for him. And then the whole no water on the plane leading to the guy spilling all sorts of stuff was unfortunate. I know it wasn't really the airline's fault, but he still blames them for not providing even water, the check-in line. There's got to be a more efficient way. Let's figure that out, Zip Air. For me, let's add up the costs. This is what you get. And that was almost half the price of other airlines on economy. I'm willing to do that or at least give it another chance and see if they can improve some of the things that were stressful so that I don't have to get rid of some of the omiyage gifts that I was going to take or perhaps bring back, even though I wanted to bring so much stuff from Japan as you can imagine. So if those things are not deal breakers for you, then go ahead and try it. But if you were more like my husband, then know that and go somewhere else. If you found value in this video, remember to subscribe, share with a friend that might enjoy this as well, and see you in the next Japan travel video.